Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Jay Speecher of Linden Boys Basketball. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So um, talk, just talk about how the season's kind of going so far. And uh, it, it's it had a lot of change, um, you know, with obviously with the new coaching staff and obviously the injury to Jack. Uh, overall, what's that? What's it been like to just get through this season? So far, it's been going good, but we need to definitely tweak a couple of things and we could be a really, really good team because we have so much talent on our team. And the new coaching staff, they're unbelievable. They, they definitely know what they're talking about. And it's they really have the ability to lead us along with our captains through the season to have a great year. Yeah, I, um, I know that um, with Jack being injured, he's kind of taken a coaching role. But knowing him, it's kind of I mean, we actually literally talked with him yesterday. Um, overall, what's, uh, what's kind of, what's he been like, obviously he's not playing for you guys, but, um, as, uh, as of course he's trying to, you know, get prepared for up for an upcoming surgery, but, um, what's that going to be like, um, you know, having him just having there around and just uh, helping you guys out. He is nothing but positivity. He's always positive. He's always fired up. He's always ready to go. He's always ready to help out his team. He is absolutely incredible to have on the team, even if he's not playing. Yeah. Okay, so um, just talk about like what were some of the things that you worked on uh, in your game to uh, help you prepare for uh, the, the the this upcoming this season. Like, what'd you work on in the offseason? Um, a lot of conditioning. A lot that was a big one because center. I got to be able to get up and down the court. Um, a lot of ball handling. I did a lot of post post work. Um, been working on not fouling as much because that's something I tend to do. But I've been working on it. Um, shooting. I'm trying to become slightly more strong with my uh, shooting game because you've got to work outside the post a little bit. Can't have everything down there. Otherwise, it becomes really easy to guard. Yeah. Um, what – just for just for reference, what grade are you by chance? Uh, I'm a 10th grader. So you're a sophomore. So um, to, to contribute – um, to be on this team as you know, as young as you are, what what's it been like to to just um, just be a part of this as as just a sophomore? It's incredible. The like the entire team makes me feel welcome all the time. Like I've never felt like out of place or out of my comfort zone around all the older guys, and it's great. Yeah. Okay. So tonight you have a game at well at time of recording. Uh, you have a game coming up. Uh, tonight against Oxford and you get to travel all the way over there to do it. Um, I know um, it's uh, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty far drive from Linden to Oxford. It's uh, it's going to be a late night. So what's it going to be like just to uh, um, being on, being on a bus for so long, what's that going to be like, um, you know, traveling all that way? It's not going to be that bad. So our team, we don't go on our phones under the bus and the entire bus ride is nothing but team bonding. We just talk and have fun the whole way there. And then we go over a game plan when we're getting close to there. We start to go over everything we're going to do throughout the game when we're about halfway. Okay. Um, what's that? Um, what's that going to be? Let's, let's see. Um, just, just overall, you guys have really come together. Now this is a time where you get to brag about your teammates. Who's really impressed you these past few weeks? I've got to say Colin Weiss. He, he has become such a good three-point shooter from last year to this year. Like, he's knocking down some crazy shots. Same with Jake and Joe Miller. Like they, Jake and Joe Miller. They could shoot last year, but wow, they're turning up this year. Yeah. Um, what have you – what do you think the biggest thing that you need to work on in these next few weeks? Definitely not fouling so I could stay in the game more. How, how, like, let's see, um, what, what, you know, I haven't really ever asked this, but, um, what's the, you know, fouling is, is something that I think almost everybody does, but overall, what's, um, what's that like? Can you, what is that like? How can you like not, you know, do that? I mean, it's simple. It's well, easy it looks. Yeah. I draw a lot of charges and I tend to, and cause I'm a taller guy. So I'd like to go for blocks a lot more than the normal person. 
So I tend to like clip the arms. And then when I am on offense, I'm bigger than most of the people guarding me. So me being about 215 and you got a smaller guy, I was about 150. I hit him a little bit. He's going to go flying. So offensive following me. So I have to learn to be able to get around them and not just try and go through them because they're so much smaller. For sure. Um, so, so what have you, so in these past few games, what have you kind of learned about, you know, yourself and this team? Because you guys, you guys have been pretty solid. Yeah, we have. I mean, we beat Chesney, who was a really good team. They were undefeated when we beat them. And uh, Kersley, they were also a, pre- a very solid team who we beat. And, well, to be honest, we've been doing good. My team's been doing good. Um, I think. Well, I'm forgetting. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Well, let, let's get to let's get let's get to know you a little bit. Um, how do you mentally prepare for a game? I try to have fun in the locker room with my teammates. Okay. Team bonding, team bonding before a game is very important for the chemistry of your team before you go out on the court. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what's your pregame meal before a game? Pregame meal? Usually, usually something with chicken in it. Okay. Pretty much it. Um, let's see. Um, what's your go-to place for food? Like this my could- go-to. Well, my favorite place to get food is Sagano's. Okay. Sagano's is delicious. We used to have Sagano's here where I live, and, and fortunately it closed down. Um, what's your favorite type of food to eat? I love steak. Steak's okay. a big one. I love chicken. Okay. Um. Yeah. Steak and chicken are big ones. I love those. Uh, favorite player growing up? My favorite player growing up? Um, I love Shaq. I love Shaq. He's a really he really funny guy, and he's a senator just like me. Okay. So um, I can relate. Let's see. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well are you at replying to text messages? text messages i usually i actually reply pretty fast i can't lie okay. now this could be overall texts um this could be like this could be messages as well like you know instagram messages snapchat messages all that i usually reply with usually within an hour okay um and finally what is something people do not know about you something people don't lo- know about me I actually love history. Did not know that. I'm very fond of history. I love history. Yes. Yeah, it's, it seems like a lot of people have uh, I've always had this, like, you've always wanted to learn about, like, what happened in the past. Because everyone's like, it, it's like, you know, different things in, like, you know, sports or something like that. Or, well, I'm one of those, like, you know, going back, like, the big stats and all that stuff. Or just overall, just like the history of country of, of the country and all that stuff. So that's good too. So. All right. Yeah. I'm big on talking about the history of wars. Ah, uh, there's actually a lot of, I mean, there, I've seen a lot of people that are about that. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, that's really, really interesting. Uh, all right. Well, Jace, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and best of luck. Uh, best of luck tonight against Oxford. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.